Welcome back, Tailgate Talk fans. Let's get right into solving a little problem we ran into with a great product that has an Achilles heel. I'm talking about the Brighton Smart Plugs. And Brighton Smart Plugs are just awesome. I just recently discovered them myself and was skeptical at first, but I bought a pack of four on sale. So uh, I didn't feel like I was gambling too much and I wanted to bring my house into the 21st century of automation. Now, I bought these specifically to control the lights of my Christmas tree and yard lights, but you can use them for just about any plug or device in your home. I found the setup to be very easy and everything was working great until three or four days later when every plug quit all at the same time. So let's take a quick look at four reasons why your plugs may quit working. Then we'll zero in on the, on the one that I believe causes the most failures for people. First though, I appreciate you taking a half second at the end of this video to click the thumbs up and bell icons and uh, just let me know this video uh, solved your problem. Now, on to the list. First, make sure you enable Bluetooth on your phone. The app, uh, the Embrighten app, uses Bluetooth to discover and transfer your network information uh, directly to the plug. This will save you a lot of time and headaches trying to configure this manually. And uh, you can refer to the owner's manual for the exact steps. Uh, in, in uh, programming your plugs with the Bluetooth on. Next, you'll want to confirm the pairing mode. So that means that the indicator LED flashes quickly when it's in pairing mode. If it's not flashing, you're not pairing the app uh, with the plug. So uh, the, it has to be blinking in order for the information about your network to be conveyed to the plug and be configured correctly. So look for that blinking light. Third, verify that you have a 2.4 gigahertz network. Uh, these Wi-Fi devices require a 2.4 gigahertz network. If you're using a 5 gigahertz network or a dual band network, this could be an issue. Let's come back to this point in a moment. Lastly, uh, test the Wi-Fi strength. Uh, you can uh, tap the Wi-Fi connection button uh, near the smart device to confirm the signal strength is strong enough to support pairing. If your Wi-Fi router is, for instance, in the basement and the plugs are not working uh, on the second story, it could be because the signal strength uh, from your Wi-Fi router is weak or there is none. So let's circle back to my third point and focus on the network speed. And Brighton Smart Plugs only work with a 2.4 gigahertz network. I repeat, 2.4 gigahertz. If your Wi-Fi router is relatively new, it may be five gigahertz only or dual band. Dual band meaning it will automatically determine the best speed for the device uh, to connect to it. This is where my plugs failed. Uh, in the initial setup, everything worked great. Uh, it was flawless, and then poof, all the plugs were offline. I spent a lot of time with each plug going back through the setup and configuration, uh, all to no avail, just banging my head against the wall. The problem was not the plugs. It was my router. Now, I'm going to show you how to access your, I'm not going to show you how to access your router control panel uh, because there's too many types of routers and too many different ways uh, to get to your control panel. I'm going to show you uh, mine, but I'm skipping over how to log into that control panel. So uh, once I have logged into my Wi-Fi control panel, uh, let's look at the, the few things that I clicked on here to configure this thing the right way and uh, get your plugs back up and running. So when you come into the control panel, what you're looking for is a setting something like this, enable Smart Connect, let the router intel intelligently select the best Wi-Fi band, 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz. So if that is turned on, uh, all of this below here will be likely grayed out. See, this is uh, your two different channels, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. 
So if that is enabled, these will be grayed out, and that is the problem because uh, when that is enabled, uh, the plugs cannot connect uh, consistently to this 2.4 gigahertz network. So this needs to be off, and you need to have two separate channels, a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz channel. And then you will also, this is very an important detail, you will need to include in your wireless network name, uh, in my case it's Dodson Network dash 2.4G. And then same thing down here, Dodson Network 5G. So once you do that, uh, you will click apply. Uh, it will go through uh, a bit of time and reset your network. And of course, uh, remember your uh, usernames and passwords that you set up for each one of these uh, new networks. Now, let's go to my phone and uh, see what networks are available no now and we're going to connect to the 2.4 gigahertz network. So now that I've got my two networks created, the 2.4 gigahertz network and the 5 giga gigahertz network, uh, go into my iPhone settings here and I select for my iPhone to be on the 2.4 gigahertz setting. Again, very important uh, that your phone or whichever device that you're using to control your plugs, they are on the same network. Uh, so in this case, they both have to be on the 2.4 gigahertz network. Uh, so you can see my other 5G network there below. Uh, so that confirms that uh, my settings and my router are correct and I have two separate networks. So all that's left to do is go back through the setup process for each one of your plugs, uh, the, the instructions that came with them, go through that setup, and uh, you should be off to the races. I believe this is going to fix it for you. It fixed it for mine and they've been working for weeks now flawlessly. So uh, again, I appreciate your time and appreciate a like and subscribe if this solved your problem. Take care and we'll see you next time on the tailgate.